we present some new features of the LWAP 900 2.0 release. LWAP 900 now also supports the BACnet communication protocol and offers a standardized interface to devices from other manufacturers. To activate BACnet communication, select Properties from the context menu with the right mouse click and switch to the BACnet tab. There you can enable BACnet communication by using the checkbox and adapt the BACnet IP settings according to your needs. The LWAP 900 server can register with an existing BBMD in the BACnet IP network as a foreign device. This functionality is used if the LWAP 900 server is located as a single BACnet IP device on a remote IP subnet. The LWAP 900 server can serve as a BACnet Time Master. Enable the Use BACnet Time Synchronization checkbox and set a synchronization interval. You can add BACnet devices which should receive UTC time and devices which should receive local time. LWAP 900 allows to add the following types of recipients. Existing BACnet devices from the database. BACnet devices identified by BACnet instance number. BACnet devices identified by BACnet address. Local broadcast, foreign broadcast and global broadcast. In order to add BACnet devices to the database, you can scan the BACnet network. Therefore, go to the folder Network, click the right mouse button and select the menu Scan BACnet Network. Start the online scan and the LWAP 900 server will search for devices on the BACnet network. All found devices will be shown in the device list. Select one or multiple devices and click the Add Selected Devices button. The server will read out the complete object list of the selected devices and adds the new devices to the database. The LWAP 900 management system provides a BACnet browser to view all objects and their properties. The browser can be opened by double-clicking a folder in the device tree view. You can configure the view by configuring the visible columns. Add the value column to see the current present value of the BACnet objects in the list view. It's further possible to monitor and modify the value of all BACnet objects, including all required and optional properties by extracting the BACnet object in the view. Also, BACnet scheduler and calendar objects can be configured according to your needs. The value of the BACnet objects can be used in the various LWAP 900 views, including watch views, graphical views, trend charts and schedulers. If the device supports the BACnet backup and restore service, it can be maintained in the LWAP 900 Device Manager. LWAP 900 now allows printing of the current content of a view. Depending on the view, the values are printed in a list view or as a screenshot of the current view. For example, this is the output if you are printing a watch view. a trend chart view a graphical view a master scheduler and the parameter view The new Assign Identification Keys dialog helps to import the identification key from existing links projects. 
It allows defining a constant part which is assigned to the identification key of all data points in the folder and a dynamic part which is derived either from the data point name or description. In this example, the dynamic part starts with the field equipment and ends with the field component index. The constant part can be chosen from the predefined values. The dynamic part in this example derives from the data point name. Graphical views in LWeb 900 now allow creating links to other views. When the user clicks on a link, the target view is automatically displayed. In this example, we are opening a trend chart when the user clicks on the background image in the graphical view. To assign a view as a link target to the action object, drag the view from the navigation tree and drop in on the action object in the graphical view configuration view. Now I switch over to the graphical view in runtime mode and navigate to the page holding the link. When I click on the background, the linked chart view is opening. LWeb 900 now allows defining a default user. This user is automatically logged in when the system starts or when a user logs out. Normally, the default user will have only read writes on the system. It is now also possible to run the LWeb 900 client in a kiosk mode. In this mode, the Windows toolbar and the window decorations are hidden so that the user has no access to the Windows desktop. The administrator can define for each user if this user is able to switch between kiosk mode and normal view mode. To use the available screen space now more efficiently, the toolbar and navigation bar of views can be hidden. In this example, we are hiding the toolbar of the alarm view on the bottom of the screen. Detailed information to the LWeb 900 release can be found in the README file of the LWeb 900 software and in the manual in the chapter What's New in LWeb 900 2.0.